The good thing is, a lot of times, if you get out and it's raining, if I get out here and it's raining or something, no one can even see me over here. Stashed away under this little shelter anyway. And even if it's not a car or an automobile or something, still, I like to imagine the surprise. I doubt this cooler will ever hold another case of beer, but if it does, it'll look good. I always kind of think, what is the explanation I'm going to give this person? Why the hell am I out here on this property? Pinstriping an old cooler or an old car. So to me, the clandestine custom is, first, first and foremost, it began as a way for me to practice and be in the elements and just kind of challenge myself and just in striping. I just love put myself in the position to have to work on the spot where I'm not allowed, but in a totally different environment than the city. And the fact that I'm out in the open and can get caught any time thrills the hell out of me. <laughs> this is the best part is palleting the brush. And get the, getting the uh, paint and all the little bristles and everything. You know, you're right, just about to get to work. That's the thrill. Go out here and make a few marks. I appreciate the, the element of surprise just as much as the next guy as far as street art and everything. But being out in the middle of the country and putting pinstripes, I think, to me, is my way of, you know, sneaking about and all that stuff that you know, street art and everything kind of entails. My fingertips, I can't feel at all. This definitely looks like it snowed out here last night. According to my phone, about 10 minutes ago, it was 34 degrees. Whatever's under this shelter we'll fuck with until we have to, until it stops raining. Actually, the red goes good with that brown that it was originally intended for. And that's about as good as I'm gonna get it right now. I got my finger in it, but better than nothing. I was drawn to pinstriping. Basically a lot of the way the same other stripers were as I grew up. A huge fan of hot rods and dragsters and cartoons magazine and all this and that. But my main draw to pinstriping is that it's so god dang hard for me. It's an arduous uh, art form. It's hard to pull off and get good at and it's just very challenging. Pinstriping to me, it's a marriage that fits well with, with the way I work, which is I appreciate a certain degree of precision, but even more so I appreciate a certain degree of improvisation. And pinstriping is a perfect marriage of the two for me. It marries precision with improvisation. I think at, at the core of it, that's why I'm a huge fan. And that's what really drew me in. You make it up as you go along at the same time. I love that. I love making it up as I go along to a degree.
I'm trying to think where I'm gonna go with this thing. I'm not totally sure yet. I think that I think that most people in general, unless they're of an artistic type of a disposition, I don't think would totally get why I would drive a hundred miles to come out and paint straight lines on abandoned vehicles. But for me, it's, like I said, it's just the opposite of almost a reaction to street art, I suppose, in a way, in that I don't care who sees it. For me, it's mostly a, it's very cathartic. It's almost therapeutic. Pitting myself against the elements, putting myself out here in freezing temperatures when it's clearly snowed. It's a way to keep me on my toes. Just a way to check myself. You know, I'm not worried about business. I'm not worried about clients out here. I'm not even worried about who's ever going to see this. For me, it's just a way of... It's like taking a country drive with benefits. close as it's going to get under, under the circumstances. That's fucking cool looking. I'm stoked. Why am I a pencil? <laughs> 